Hey everybody, it's Bob with Trade Genius. I got my good friend Phil here. Dow Theory is now confirming the macro doom call that Phil and I have been talking about. Stay tuned, we'll explain what that means. Trade Genius. Hey everybody, it's Bob with Trade Genius. Usually I do fun ads, I talk about our service, but I wanna be serious with you for a second. We've been helping a lot of people trading for a long time. As you can see here, I wanna let them do the talking for me for a change. But most importantly, we wanna help you too. If you've not joined our service yet, come check us out, tradelikeagenius.com. Full service, you know, we have chat room, we have the algorithms for you, we give trades out every day, we educate you. So go to tradelikeagenius.com, check us out. What you get out of our service, is much, much more than what you put into it. And we'd like to see you in the room. Thanks for listening. Okay, Philip, we're going into a long weekend. Thursday dump, Friday's always green. Hope you guys were taking advantage of that trade. It's like a no-brainer trade. And we're going into summer, but disaster looms. Please explain. Yeah, so again, not something that we got to worry about next week. Like Bob said, three-day weekend, and we typically just have a nice levitation into that. And we're going into June, which is seasonally bullish for both an election year and non-election year. So we have a lot to look forward to. But what we need to keep an eye on is Dow Transports. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with that, you know, Transports is an index of basically all of your shipping, right? You've got container ships, you've got rail, you've got trucking, et cetera, et cetera. When those are lagging, you need to pay attention. Now, I personally think there's going to be a bit of a catch-up move similar to what we saw in 2021, but that preluded a pretty large market drawdown. Now, this divergence, again, another case of alligator jaws, is really, really big, historically speaking. So I think it's telling us that we're on the right track to sniff out a larger market pullback later in the year. I don't think it's going to happen just yet because of the election year, the election run-up, et cetera, et cetera. And we have, basically because of the market structure, we have the potential for a blow-off move as the economy starts to slow down. So we could see the transports do somewhat of a catch-up move here, but keep an eye on that. If the market and this alligator jaw pattern continues to grow into August and September, then, you know, I would be very, very careful because I think that actually would exasperate how much of a pullback, even potentially a pretty severe drop. I wouldn't say crash just yet at that point, but a pretty severe drop because if transports don't respond, as you can see in this chart, you will get a snap down effect. And so that's the danger there as we head into it. Now, if it comes up, then maybe we have more of a softer rollover. But if it does not, that's where things can get a little more violent, Bob. You know, it's interesting. Today, the shippers are getting a, a big boost. These are the ocean shippers. Um, they pay good dividends, too. So check those out. There's a container shortage, Phil, worldwide, you know, which is going to constrain supply, but it will affect retailers' you know, ability to generate income because they won't be able to get stuff on the store shelves. So keep that in mind. That's also inflationary as well. So short-term gain on the shippers, we're in them. Long-term pain for the economy because they're jacking up the daily rates on all these boats, Phil. So there's always something happening now and the perfect storm is lining up for the fall because this is exactly what happened in 2020. You remember when they shut down the shipping for the COVID now they're creating another artificial uh, bottleneck as well. And that's going to reverb throughout the whole economy worldwide. So, but enough on that. It's just another warning shot for you guys to pay attention to. Tomorrow, we're going to do a video to talk about Bitcoin. Stay tuned. I think you'll like that. Phil and I are becoming multi-personalities here. We're going from doom to boom. And I think this is the way it's going to be through the summertime. So stay tuned for tomorrow. It'll be a great, great, great video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Hey, genius.